Kaki, the CMD of the company, joins us on the phone line. Good afternoon, ma'am, and thanks so much for joining in. Can we straight away come to your sugar business, where your revenues are up 15%, despite that you've reported an EBIT loss of nearly 5 crore. Could you tell us what went wrong? Nothing went wrong, if you were. South Indian mills do not crush the, during Q3 at all. So nothing went wrong, actually. But these are on a year-on-year -year basis, right? So Q3 last year also wouldn't have seen any crushing. Yeah, there is uh, no crushing usually at this time of the year. So we started in January and uh, we've already got stocks about 44,000 tons. So we are fine. Uh, this is the situation with all the um, uh, Tamil Nadu sugar factories. Okay. So what is your expectation uh, for the coming quarter, the Jan to March quarter by way of sugar revenues as well as at the EBIT level? Um, sugar revenues uh, for the last for the next um, quarter, um, I think um, we'll be touching about uh, 200 crores more in Q4, and uh, the prices are looking good. Recoveries are looking good, and um, you know, with our cogen operations and our distillery uh, going full swing, I think uh, we look forward to um, uh, pretty good results uh, for the year. Okay. Uh, Kojan, uh, is the performance sustainable? Your revenues are more than double there. I can't hear you. Come again, please. No, we wanted to know about your Kojan business where your revenues have in fact tripled. If you look at it on a year on year basis, is the performance sustainable? Yeah, this is because of the rate increase. Uh, we've got a, a higher uh, preferential rate increase. Um, it's gone 3 rupees 15 paisa, it's gone to 4.15. And that is sustainable. Okay. And this price increase is market determined or it's uh, decided by the government or any other body? And for what period is this price increase? It is for the uh, by Tangent Co, which is Tamil Nadu um, uh, government, and it is for a period of 20 years. So, okay. four rupees is going up to five as well. So, that's very, uh, uh, very good, very sustainable. So, from here on, Kojan should also uh, do quite well. What about the total yes. debt? Kojan do well. Um, our uh, dictionary will do very well. And um, uh, I think we are, we are looking pretty good. Um, the issue is that uh, Tamil Nadu mills do not uh, have any crushing in Q3. So not to be alarmed about this. I'd like to say this uh, to all the investors that not to be alarmed and not to compare um, this region's washing with the northern mills because uh, the seasonal differences exist. Actually, we were just comparing it with your last year's Q3 where also there wouldn't have been any crushing. So, you know, on a year-to-year basis, it's still a like-to-like -like comparison. But ma'am, if you could tell us what the total debt on the books is right now. It's 481 crores and then uh, with the sale of uh, Trident Sugars, which is our subsidiary company, it will come down easily to about 90 crores. Less. By when should the long, we... Uh, the long-term loan is only 481 and uh, we are uh, completing the, um, uh, the subsidiary company sale, Trident Sugars, uh, which was reported earlier hmm. and that should be completed by March 31st. So by March 31st, your long-term debt should be just about 90 crores? It should just be about, no, 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 it comes down by about crore. Okay, yeah. all right. So it'll be close to about 390 crore. Any other plans to pay down your debt? Oh, well, we're looking and uh, we're talking to the government as well. Uh, the 100 crores that is on all our books is because of uh, the, um, the soft loan that the government of India sort of uh, forced us to take uh, to pay the farmers off, uh, if you remember, uh, 12 months ago. So that is the debt that is sitting on all the sugar factories' balance sheet. So really speaking, um, we are, you know, if the government does something about that, then uh, we are working towards that. But we are quite healthy otherwise. Okay. Uh, if you could, you said the crushing is now back on track. Uh, what would the production figures look like for Rajshri on a year-on-year -year basis for this uh, season? For the full year? Full year comes to about uh, 1,45,000. 1,40,000. 40. Okay. And how would this compare with the prior year? With the prior year, just marginally uh, lower than last year, but uh, the price is more than uh, make up for that. Okay. All right, ma'am. Thank you so much for joining in and all the best for the coming quarters. That's the word from Rachi Sugar. Uh, the reason why the sugar business has not done well this quarter, the management